Hi, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report. Today we're in Beverly Hills for the fourth and final season premiere of Banshee. It's yeah. so nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you. So the fans of Banshee know fans of Banshee. know that you're Burton. You play Burton. I play Burton. Um, I am thinking right now of that incredible scene, the fight scene yes. over the car yes. with R.I.P. R.I.P. Odette Animal, Odette, Nola Longshadow. Nola, thank you. I yeah. loved her. I was so excited that we were going to see Carrie and Nola together, and then yeah. you just destroyed her. How was that? Uh, destroying Nola was one of the more fun and exciting days <laughs> of my life. It was a 14-hour insane shoot. Uh, we prepped it for about a month. Odette is one of the coolest, most amazing people in the world. We, we really had a good time together. Uh, we laughed a lot. We bruised each other a lot. <laughs> the day was the hottest day of the summer. Um, it was a, it was a great you time. You pulled it off. It just Thank it was you. such an incredible Thank you scene. Very much. Um, you know, Burnt doesn't really get to say a lot. No. I'm wondering if a that will change this season, and b is there ever a time where you just you want you want I, I to have, say something? I have a running joke with Tropper and Adam Targum. Who? Uh, with Adam Targum, <laughs> my oh, boss. What is that? Are you standing there? I have, a, I have a running joke with Adam and with uh, Jonathan. Jonathan says, we hired a theater actor who does Shakespeare, and we gave him a role in which he does <laughs> not speak. It's <laughs> true. It's true. But, again, you speak more this season than I think ever before. I do speak a little more this season. You're going to learn a little more about I, I also say, and I will walk away from your interview, no, but you that this interview. man has done more with less dialogue I than probably see. any other actor in Hollywood and has created one of the most memorable characters ever, with saying least, and that's just a testament to him. He commissions so. every penny that I I make for saying that. <laughs> yes, I do. And, and, and continue to say <laughs> How did you feel when you found out the season was ending? You know, it was, we were all very sad. I mean, this is, I think you can tell if you spend a little time around this group, it's a really tight group. We like each other a lot. Yeah. It's, there's none of the sort of TV uh, fakeness. Yeah. It's, we, this is a, we're a little bit of a family and we love each other. Um, so we were sad, but we also realized that Jonathan and Adam had sort of come to the end of the story. Yeah. And I think when you get to the end of the story, it's nice to end it on your own terms rather than do a fifth season that's sort of, meh, Well, know. I mean, I, want, I know that I want to do the breaking up. I don't want to be broken up with, so. Yeah, it's also. Kind of. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I don't want to say anything about that. I mean, I, what I know is that we, we, we go out on our own terms. Mm -hmm. We had an opportunity to do it the right way right. rather than just kind of fade away and I think that uh, I think the fans are going to be really happy good choice yeah. now finally I know Matt Servito's not also, here yet yes I, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. to do the breaking up too so. right <laughs> who doesn't uh, we're doing an homage Brock to Brock Spirit <laughs> so we're going to take a picture what up Servito <laughs> thank you so much thank you. I can't it's wait so to nice watch to and we'll see you later I appreciate okay. it okay enjoy it. I will any of the episodes not yet, yet. no Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this interview, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, and leave a comment for me below. Who's your favorite character on Banshee? Mine is Job forever. Until next time, I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report.